Hi everyone, it's Mika Fasting Weight Loss and today is day 104 of my weight loss journey, 2019. Um, this is my vlog. I do daily uploads and I am losing weight with different fasting methods. OMAD one meal a day, intermittent fasting and fasting. Um, I decided to start writing. The O means I did an OMAD day. The 16 means I did a 16 hour fast. And Tommy from the live stream yesterday, um, I recommended you do a, I said eight hour fast. I meant 16 hour fast and eight hours eating. That's what I meant. Okay, yesterday was a very successful day. I did not eat anything. Um, I worked out. The entire workout is in my live stream. I had a competition with my best friend. She stopped by after work and we had a plank competition. And I won't say who won. If you want to find out, you'll have to go to the video before this and skip to the competition exercise part when she got there. Um, let's see. It's really good to have a workout partner, especially if you're both competitive because if you're lifting weights, you might do an extra rep or you'll just put in a harder effort. Um, I need that because I feel sore right now just from the little stuff we did. Like, I feel all sore all in here, which is good. Let's see. Today, I'm bringing you Brandon Burlesworth. Brandon Burlesworth. I don't have a quote for him, but in the shaded area of my quote book and my goal book for 2019, um, I'm just putting him here, and I put Arkansas Razorbacks. Um... We're going to talk about him during the end of this video. Um, I know a lot of people don't want to hear all my chit chat about these inspirational people, but it's very beneficial to learn from people that do great things because we want to do great things. Um, the movie Greater, 2016, is a must-see um, for you and your kids, your family. It's a good family movie. Inspirational. Um, okay, I'll talk more about that at the end. Let's see. Weight Loss Motivation 2019 is what this channel will be about in 2019, and you'll also watch me get to my goal. You'll, I'll talk a little bit about my business goals, um, but I am all about being above average um, in effort. And I'm also about letting people be them, let them do what they want to do, um, I'm anti-bullying, anti-hater, like, <clears throat> I do fasting, but it's okay to do whatever plan you're going to do as long as you stick to it. That is most important. I watch so many channels, and they will all be successful. They just have to be consistent. Um, let's see. What exercise did I do yesterday? I walked. I don't know how long, because I was on the live stream the whole time. I was at the gym at least two hours. I walked, I did planks, I try to do squats. My body, I don't know what the heck is wrong with my body. Um, it's very hard for me to be balanced in a squat. So yesterday I used the wall and that helped a lot. I only did like 10. Um, I did a, a 30 second wall, a wall sit, um, just some little floor work, some hopping around and stuff. It was just a lot of fun. Um, but I burned a good amount of calories, and I did lose a good amount of weight. I can't believe it's only one day of water of fasting, not water fasting, because you guys know I also had gum. I'm not counting that. I'm having gum on this fast. I don't have gum on the other fast because gum could trigger different things in your body to, I don't know, it could, it could mess up your fast, so... I would not recommend gum, not even sugar-free gum. Just don't do gum. But, you guys, I think I could do gum because I've done so many fasts and I just want to, okay? <laughs> but don't do it. Um, unless you want to, but I wouldn't. Um, so, I did fasting on day 104. Yesterday, my weight was 219. As you remember, I got all the way down to 210, and then I went back up to 220. I am refusing to let this weight come back. No, I want to be to my goal. I want to get to maintenance. 
I want to get to maintenance. I want to stop all this extreme fasting stuff. That's why I'm doing this. I want to get to go, okay? I want to just be able to maintain. I want to be able to just relax and focus on the working out. As you see yesterday, Nikki is way more fit than me, even though I weigh less than her now. Um, my muscles are not there. Um, I have to build it up, but that's what this year is also going to be about. Muscle building strength and not even muscle strength building the butt. You guys know I got to build that butt um, <clears throat> And squats is not the only way to build a butt the Hodge twins have knee issues, too. They do a lot of um, laying back leg presses so and the the butt doctor Brett Contreras man, I need to find a quote for him um, He's an expert in all things gluteus maximus <laughs> um, Hip thrusts he says it's number one on everything any exercise you could do for the butt. Also, deadlifts are really good. Because when I worked that post office job for that month, my butt was burning. And it was good burn. And I was actually enjoying squatting and picking up them boxes. Because I could... And I was squeezing on the way up. I was using that as an exercise. Some of the guys would be like, oh, I can help. I'm like, no, I'm trying to get a workout. And they're like, okay, then. Um, so it was... Yeah. There's other exercises besides squats and besides lunges. I don't know if lunges hurt my knees. Nothing hurts my knees, but I hear crunches in my knees when I do squats, and I'm off balance. But I do need to get better and balance. Maybe when I get more weight off my stomach, I don't know. Maybe it'll be easier to balance. So, at least two-hour workout yesterday. I believe in working out for someone that can on their fast. Um, maybe not two hours, maybe a stroll, a walk, something. I just think exercise is important every single day. Like, I have a slight headache right here. Slight. After my shower, I probably won't even have a headache, hopefully. And I'm going to take some, um, a cup of potassium, and I'm going to take my apple cider vinegar. Um, okay. So, I love to exercise. So, I'm going to. And I do think it helps my um, weight loss on my fast because I'm burning more. Um, I'm burning more calories. Today, I'm 214.6. I was not expecting... Minus 4.4 pounds. That's huge. I wasn't expecting that. I am very happy. Let's move over. So that could show. I'm very happy with that. Okay. So I'm fasting again. Today's day two. I can't believe I have four days to go. Okay. So now I'm going to talk about Brandon Burlesworth. You could get this movie on YouTube for $2.99. You might have another way to get it. I don't know. The movie is called Greater, and it's 2016 movie. So, Brandon Bullsworth was a boy, a Christian boy with good morals and ethics, and he was raised nice. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like he had a single mom. I'm not sure. But he got on the football team in high school, and he was told he was not good enough to go to a Division I school. It was his dream to go to the Arkansas Razorbacks. I saw this movie in 2016. I think Nikki and I, I'm sure Nikki and I saw this. We love, we both love sports. We both love um, inspirational stuff. And we're both very like, we're very, very similar in, some, in a lot of ways. And very, very different in a lot of ways. But I'm pretty sure we saw this movie together. Um, every inspirational movie or true story you need to go watch and sometimes you need to take your kids because they really need to see this kind of stuff too okay so he did not make it to a division one school on scholarship he got scholarship offers from um i don't know what schools but they weren't division one and they surely weren't the razorbacks which is all he wanted um so you know, people told him, just go get your education here with the free money. And the mom didn't have the money to pay for him to go to um, the Razorback school. Um, he decided to go on a walk as a walk-on. And if you're, a, I guess if you're a walk-on, I'm only going based on three years ago, what I remember. I And what I think, I think if you're a walk-on, you don't get a scholarship, so you got to pay. You might get partial here and there, but not sports scholarship. So he went in as a he went in as a walk on. He was redshirted, which means he didn't play, but he could still practice with the team um, year one. 
And let's see. Okay. So he said, they said he was too little, too short. He was 6'3". I guess for what he wanted to play, he was too short and he weighed too much. Um, so he would get up every day at 5.15 a.m. and he would work the heck out. Rain, snow, sleep, hail. He would be out there working it, doing drills, running, doing the stadium stairs. He was not playing. He wanted it so bad. People would drink and party and all that, but he had his good morals. He did not drink alcohol. He did not do drugs. He didn't curse, probably. <laughs> I'm just throwing that in there. Like, he was just a nice, wholesome boy. And that stuck out, like, not in a good way around college kids, football players, whatever. But he stayed true to who he was. I love that. Mm. I'm not Christian. I don't care. Morals is morals. And he has them and he stuck to it. I love it. Because people don't like it when you try to follow your rules and be different than them. Um, Let's see. So he worked his butt off. He trained. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put a clip in the comments. Watch this clip, please. It's only like six minutes. Um. It's just going to show you a taste of who he is and who he was and what how he became what he became. So he was one of the first students to play. I don't know if he's the only student to receive a bachelor's and a master's while playing Division I football at that school. Oh, my gosh. Like, do you know how hard it is to practice every, every, every breath? You're practicing, studying in class or at a game like that is really hard he got a bachelor's and a master's during his time with the razorbacks um he became an all-american and i'm not going to tell you too much more because i want you to watch the movie um you must watch the movie and that's it so brandon Bur burlsworth is january 29th january 2019 weight loss life motivation um in my shaded area in my book because I want to think of him and be inspired and think about hard work pays off and it can get you to your goals no matter what anyone thinks no matter if you're too short no matter if you're this or that like you can achieve greatness if you put in the work and I'm talking to you and if you subscribe to my channel you're a goal crusher so you have to do the things today that will get you to crush your goals and for me today I'll be fasting and I think I'll be going to the gym because I want my kids to be active. And the gym is part of our lifestyle now. I might take it easy. I might not. I need to do some weights. I didn't do really any weights yesterday. So that's it. that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.